Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. Now I know it's been a while since my last video uh, and I apologize for that. It has been a pretty <laughs> eventful week for me uh, on my end of things, but at the very least I wanted to make these videos. Uh, now just to answer real quick, cause I know it's everybody's minds. Normally, whenever a new video, uh, a new medal comes out or events such as like the frozen medals and stuff, I normally make my videos right away. However, with the current state of the game right now, especially with the new plus 15 buff cap being increased, uh, the Kyrie medal literally just came out almost the same exact day, um, as well as the frozen medals now coming out pretty much like just a few days afterwards. I basically wanted to take some time to thoroughly research the frozen medals first before I, I made any more videos, um, as well as take some time to actually update my website at k2xnation.com to completely fill out the meta tab and update it according to what is currently available in the game. So it has the plus 15 gap uh, cap increase as well as the new frozen medals and such. So I've thoroughly updated all of the meta setups in the game, um, which I will, I am planning to discuss in a later video. But that was one of the aspects that took me a while to put together. I did want to make sure I completed that part first before I made my Frozen video just because of the fact that I wanted to see which ones actually made a big impact or not. So yeah, I didn't make my Frozen video yesterday like I normally would, but I am planning to release the Frozen video discussing whether I should pull for them, how good are the actual medals themselves and such uh, in the next video after this one. So look forward to that if you need advice. Now before I dig into the current latest announcements for this coming week and such in terms of VIP and everything, which I really do want to talk about because I know it's a very hot topic at the moment, uh, I just want to give a quick notice update uh, in terms of the game. For those of you that pulled on the Aset or Gula banners when they were available during the Black Friday deals, you are probably aware that there was a glitch in regards to Gula and Aset where if you tried mercying for Gula, you actually received an Aset medal instead and vice versa for Aset. If you tried mercying Aset, you got a Gula medal instead and they had made an announcement shortly after that saying that if this was the case for, for you, uh, they would actually be sending you the correct medal you were supposed to have gotten in your mercy pull in your gift box uh, eventually. Now, if I recall correctly, in their last Twitch stream, they had announced that they would be coming fairly soon. Um, it has been a while since the stream and people are still wondering whether or not the ghoul and the said medals are still still coming have they been sent already did they just miss and stuff so i just wanted to quickly let you guys know that glacy one of the square annex representatives for union cross has mentioned on reddit that they haven't been sent out already and that they will let everyone know once they have been and she's going to make sure that she reminds the devs about it again uh, to make sure they get sent out to everybody and i'm assuming the same thing would be said about the uh, 10 chips and dales that they mentioned we will be receiving as a reward from the twitch stream as well so hopefully we'll be getting that sometime soon maybe eventually this coming week all right so getting started with this week's notices uh because of the fact that we are celebrating the frozen collaboration in the game we are getting a bunch of frozen related and winter time which makes sense because it's frozen uh, type of events and accessories and such. Okay, so first up, we are able to get in Union Cross this week the Olaf doll. Now, there's nothing really too special about the Olaf doll, it just provides an item drop perk of plus three. It's, it's pretty much just a normal accessory. The weekly raid event has been updated to a different raid boss this time. Uh, nothing really too much to be said about this. We get this basically like every week now. As part of the Frozen Collaboration event, we are receiving three new avatar boards, which I find fairly interesting to say the least because in fact there are two exclusively female avatar boards and one exclusively male avatar board this time, which is usually not the case. Usually they'll have at least, you know, a male and female version of each avatar board for like each type of outfit, uh, even if the character isn't normally male or female so i found it very curious that this time they actually made them exclusively a specific sex either way though regardless of which ones you choose to get they all provide the exact same thing 
uh, which is an attack boost 8 max, an attack boost 8 and AP plus, as well as an attack boost 7 max and Lux plus, and a second chance max. The only thing worth noting in terms of any of these three avatar boards are going to be the specific skills that are perks, I should say, that they provide uh, for Elsa, for this one right here. Her tiara, as shown in the little picture uh, right there, provides a skill perk of plus nine, which is currently one of the highest uh, like headwear uh, skill perks in the game. So if you don't currently have one uh, for your head, that provides plus nine this wouldn't be a bad idea but th again keep in mind this is for a female so if you're typically wearing male outfits of course you're not going to want to get this uh same thing similar for the anna uh or anna i don't know how you remember how you pronounce it outfit as well her cape provides a skill perk of plus eight uh that actually goes on the back which is actually one number below the highest currently the highest is plus nine which is the fairy wings i believe that we got as a uh, competitive raid week reward uh but yeah right now it's plus nine and i believe that was available for both sexes uh as well so in terms of getting the highest amount possible uh it's not there but it is still pretty good if you don't really have that much say you like you're a beginner intermediate player the olaf avatar board is the only male avatar board uh, available for the frozen boards anyways which is where a snow cloud and just to give you kind of picture it shows right here uh, it's a little snow cloud it kind of hovers around you a little bit now from what i recall this does count as back wear i think it'll count as either back wear or head wear one of the two i don't remember it'll, it'll just depend on uh its category but nonetheless it is a skill perk of plus eight which is also still pretty good uh, even if none of these are, you know, game breaking or raise the, the the meta in terms of perks at all in any way, shape, or form, they are still pretty solid perks. So if you happen to be missing uh, missing any in any of those accessory categories, such as you know, uh, head or back, then you might want to consider taking a look at this. And the skills that come along with them aren't too bad either. Next up is the VIP deal in which this week we are receiving the Toon Kyrie and Shion VIP medal along with 1400 extra jewels as usual. Now the medal isn't that great, it's really mostly meant as a kind of a proud mode type of medal. Uh, primarily because of the fact it's a random target medal that actually debuffs, uh, that provides an AoE type of debuff compared to just a random target debuff. Um, very similar to Marluxia Plus that we received in the last Organization 13 event. Now, although this medal seems to be pretty underwhelming at first, uh, please keep in mind there are only two medals in the game as of right now at the moment that can actually, uh, random target medals I should say, that actually provide debuffs at all towards opponents, and that is only Marluxia Plus and the Toon Kyrie Show medal right here as well. So for any events that happen to only allow random target medals, these medals are actually going to be very useful and highly sought after uh, because they are the only ones to provide debuffs at the moment. Next up for VIP, finally, finally, we have a VIP quest to provide golden tickets. Now, it took them quite a long time to finally distribute to make this a thing for VIP, uh, but I think, I think I have some theory reasonable theories as to why this might have taken so long uh, one of the things that i might think they might have been doing why it may, might have taken them so long is primarily because of the fact that in case you're not aware it's mostly obvious to us veteran players who've been playing the game for so long um as well as anybody who may be doing like you know marketing or whatever anything financial wise uh but they like to try things out and experiment uh, all the time in this game to see in what ways they can uh, squeeze their way through to try and squeeze as much money out of us as possible. So my assumption is that they included the tickets in VIP at first just to see how it did. Uh, they noticed that at first we only received a silver ticket within VIP. That was met with such huge <laughs> disdain. No one liked that at all. Um, and then they replaced it later on with a gold ticket within VIP instead, uh, and that's just been here ever since. They probably have seen that, you know, it's been doing pretty well over the course of these last few months. 
uh, in terms of the gold tickets, you're like, okay, we, we know for sure this is a solid thing, so we can make it a legitimate thing and we gave it its own quest. That's kind of how I see it. There's no actual official notice about that, of course. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. You feel free to add your own theories and spins in, in, uh, to it in the comment section down below. But that's kind of how it comes across to me. And it's actually a good thing I, I mentioned that because I'm actually going to come back to that in a second when I talk about uh, the VIP banners that I know everyone want, wants me to talk about. But other than that, in terms of the rest of the VIP deal, we're getting the standard Magic Broom and Mirrors and the Gems. We all know that these are not up to par at all whatsoever for what is the cost of VIP. The gems, in my opinion, in case you're new and you haven't seen my videos before or heard my opinions about this, the gems need to be increased to at least five gems of each attribute, especially when we're starting to get to the point where like, even in uh, Colosseum, this month's rewards in Colosseum are 20 to 30 gems of each attribute for people in certain ranks in Colosseum, which is ridiculous. Um, and very good. On top of the fact, we also have the uh, 3,500 costed jewels uh, boards uh, that you can purchase as well that provide like 20 or 30 gems each for each attribute too. So to me, it looks like that Square Enix is starting to realize that like, yeah, the gems aren't really having as much value as they used to anymore because realistically at this point, it's already hard enough to upgrade past level 35 on any keyblade uh, and the number of gems required to even get like just a few point ones higher is a little ridiculous so to only per give us two gems each of each attribute in vip compared to all these other things that like heck they're giving us 20 or 30 for free for costing i don't know to me it's just it doesn't add up it doesn't make sense and it just it's just not valuable Last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about the Frozen Banners. Now, remember, I am going to be spending an entirely separate video about the Frozen Medals, uh, whether or not they're good, they're bad, which ones to go for, which ones to not and such, whether you should pull or not, all that good stuff. I'll be talking about in the future video because I do want to go into that into a little bit more of a heavy subject. But real quick, let me quickly explain how the banners work in case you're not aware. Uh, as of right now, there are two versions of the banners, kind of just like how we have for the Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie banner, as well as during Black Friday as well. Uh, there's two separate banners for anybody who has not purchased VIP for this week. You only have access to the normal banner, which provides... Well, both banners provide at least two copies of one of the four frozen medals, okay? Uh, you're guaranteed a trait medal for the Supernova Elsa medal, as well as uh, three magic mirrors. And this is for the normal banner. However, if you purchase VIP for the current week that the banner is available, you do have access to the exclusive VIP banner right here in which case if you pull from the vip banner you will um you are guaranteed to pull the supernova elsa medal within 10 pulls so it is a 10 pull mercy for vip players exclusively as well as the fact that you have doubled the chance of actually pulling uh, elsa herself too on top of the magic mirrors increases from three to five for each pull last thing to mention before i forget as well uh, the same way how there is a 10 mercy pull on the Elsa medal herself on exclusively the VIP banner There's also an extra incentive that they mentioned called the Anna Elsa campaign where if you actually pull five times Okay, if you actually pull five times from the VIP banner exclusively you will also receive the exclusive VIP and an Elsa medal as well uh, that will come in your gift box on the I believe it was the, the 25th of this month along with every single trait medal that you would have got alongside it. So if you pull from the VIP banner uh, it doesn't show it on the banner but you're also guaranteed a trait medal for Anna and Elsa regardless of whether or not you get the medal itself for every single pull that you do on top of also receiving the Anna and Elsa medal itself on the 5th banner pull of the vip banner explicitly you're going to get one copy of the anna and elsa medal though so keep that in mind even if you pull like 10 times you're still going to only receive one copy of the anna and elsa medal now normally i would go ahead and explain what each of these medals do but because of the fact i'm going to be making my uh frozen medal sh uh, shortly after this uh, i'm going to save it for that that video instead uh, so i can talk about that more in depth 
Uh, but essentially, like everyone is kind of heated or talking about right now, in terms of this VIP deal, I want to give my thoughts about it. Personally, I don't like it at all whatsoever, and there's quite a few reasons for that. In the grand scheme of things, I feel like pretty much everyone loses out on this banner and I feel like I feel like it's one of those things kind of like how I mentioned with the golden tickets how it's one of those things that they're kind of experimenting with right now and seeing how it does uh, the way I see it and I believe people have said this a bit on reddit as well but it's looking like that because of how much success they might have seen from the Black Friday deals and how you could only uh, pull or you get certain benefits if you get VIP and such, they're trying to go more down that route, uh, especially based off Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie herself as well. Now I've talked about this in my Discord quite a bit with my Discord members, uh, but personally I feel like this is definitely going to be a feature that's not going to last for very long. And that's primarily because of the fact that the only reasons that there was any incentive at all whatsoever to actually pull for or to get VIP to pull from the VIP banners uh, for Kyrie and the Black Friday deals was because of the fact there was actually uh, an incentive beyond VIP itself uh, to actually get VIP if I should say. Okay. For the Black Friday deals, the main incentive was that you could actually get half of your jewels back, up to 20,000 jewels in total, uh, as part of the deal. Otherwise, there was nothing special about the Black Friday deals Okay, that weren't available to everyone else. For Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie, which is still an ongoing uh, banner as of right now as well, uh, the main incentive here is because of the fact that Normally, Kyrie medals are considered game-breaking medals, um, and there's regardless of what type of deal they have, there's always going to be a chase to try and get the latest Kyrie medal. Um, heck, they could have literally just kept it as a non-mercy banner, and people would have still pulled anyways, despite how much me and maybe other content creators might have advised not to do so. These two occurrences only had. Uh, incentives to actually purchase VIP for these banners because of how good the actual uh, deal was itself not because of how good VIP was itself okay and the JP version of the game if I am quoting this correctly uh, they currently have the same type of banner right now for the frozen event uh, but they don't actually have a VIP medal at all this time included for them for them they don't have a VIP medal like we usually get anymore it's literally just straight up just the gold ticket magic brooms mirrors and gems and that is it they don't get anything other than that besides the uh, extra uh, benefits of the VIP banners okay and that's it the way I see it, that is an absolutely terrible way to incentivize anybody to try and get VIP. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, but instead of actually trying to incentivize me to get VIP, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that this week we actually received a VIP medal for this week, which is the, the tune Kyrie and Shion, uh, I would not have purchased VIP this week. I've already started being on a trend myself of going from a uh, being a dolphin, as some people would call it, where I get VIP every week. And for the last couple months or so, I've been uh, only getting VIP every other week. So I've started becoming more cheap to play. Uh, as some would call it. But I can tell you right now though that if they continue to go down this route where they provide a VIP banner, um, and especially if they're gonna do what JP did like this week, for example, where they don't get a VIP medal at all whatsoever, and it's just straight up the garbage that's usually in VIP that's not worth paying 15 or more bucks for, uh, there's very good chance I just won't spend money on this game at all whatsoever anymore. I'll be a complete free-to-play player at that point. <laughs> In which case, it's completely Square Enix's fault for assuming that the success that came uh, with the Black Friday deals and the Kyrie deals to have the same type of success for, say, like Frozen, uh, the Frozen deals or, 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 um, um, or anything else in the future. One of the only reasons why I even consider getting VIP in the first place is pe literally because of only two reasons. One is because of the fact that we're pretty much guaranteed a VIP exclusive medal every single like week or so. Uh, and the second reason is because of the fact it's literally the best value deal in terms of getting jewels. You get 4,400 jewels for that week, which is great. But 
I can tell you right now that if it wasn't for the VIP uh, medal that comes along with the package, I probably wouldn't even consider getting VIP just because of the fact that I don't feel like I'm getting enough value. Just because of the fact of how garbage the rest of the VIP deal is without the medal, uh, I'm essentially paying 15 bucks or more for garbage and 4,400 jewels, okay? So if you wanna think about it, you can just kind of disregard all of this in general and think of it as just paying $15 or more uh, just for 4,400 jewels, which in my opinion is still completely outrageous uh, and is not worth doing in my opinion. No matter how you word it, it just comes across to me, basically everyone loses in this regards. Free to play players are pretty much unaffected anyways, just because it doesn't really apply to them. VIP players in general just got shafted pretty hard because of the fact that the VIP deal has been losing value gradually, slowly, gradually over time anyways. And this kind of just nailed uh, the head in the coffin uh, to maybe disincentivize players from purchasing VIP anymore because of this uh, it's just not worth it anymore on top of the fact that for whales uh, it's a very good potential that Square Enix might actually lose money because you're basically giving whales uh, an easy way to spend less money if that makes sense a whale might very easily spend like 500 600 dollars on a non-mercy banner just to try and get that medal uh, so say for example we didn't have the VIP banner for it this week for the Frozen banner and we just had this regular banner, they might easily spend four to 600 bucks just trying to get this Elsa medal. But now because of the fact that we have this VIP banner, instead of paying four to 600 bucks, all they have to do is pay uh, 15 bucks along with maybe like 200 bucks to get like 30K jewels and they can mercy Elsa. So just the way that I see it, I, I just literally see nothing positive about this VIP deal stuff. Uh, I don't see Square Enix making any more money off of it. I don't see any incentive at all whatsoever for normal VIP players like myself to actually even get VIP anymore just because uh, instead of adding value to VIP, you're actually getting rid of value from VIP, like significantly, like you're kind of getting rid of the whole point of what VIP is supposed to stand for essentially. On top of the fact that it doesn't really affect free to play players unless you want to make the argument that uh that it's just another way of making the game pay to win in which case it, it does nerf um and badly affect free to play players so overall i don't really like it at all whatsoever i don't really see any good chance of this type of business practice actually staying within the game uh and uh, in the long run um, i could be completely wrong but i just i just don't see it happening and if it does i'm gonna be really sad uh, and I'm just, I, I very easily might just become a free to play player. But other than that, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below, especially about the VIP uh, issue. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know I'll upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.